Here's my top 10 things that every drag queen needs. Now the first thing you're gonna need is some lovely padding. So I get my padding from Izzy's Boutique. This is actually padding in shorts. Now you can get your padding from anywhere, you can make it yourself. Padding just helps shape the body a lot more. It gives you a bit of curve and it tucks in the waist a little bit more. I go for a really, really large padding because I like a really tiny waist but a really big bum. <laughs> I think you can say boom on YouTube. <laughs> I kinda wanna look like Nicki Minaj, basically. The second thing you're definitely gonna need is some tights. Now you definitely need tights if you are wearing padding. You don't really need tights all the time, but I recommend getting some just in case. I get mine from eBay or Boots or Amazon. I just get them from anywhere because I don't really care. <laughs> I recommend getting these really full coverage tights. These are from eBay. They are the wrong colour, but I kind of just pair loads of tights together to make the right colour. Get some full coverage opaque tights because it just helps conceal the padding and it means you don't have to shave your legs. I mean, who wants to shave the legs? I don't want to shave my legs. Also helps if you wash them, unlike me. <laughs> some pairs of tights I've had for like five years and I've never washed them. <laughs> I don't wear them that often, so it's all right. So the third thing you're gonna need is a nice little body shaper. It's kind of like a Spanx. Now you don't really need, need this, but I think it helps a lot. Especially if you're a beginner in drag, this just can help tuck the padding in, keep the tights in place, and it just shapes the body a bit further. Mine's in like the fong shape. It's kind of like a big nappy. <laughs> I wear this a lot instead of a corset because it's more comfortable, you can breathe in it and it also kind of forms the padding because it's got burning in it. But yeah, I highly recommend this. Mine's actually from M&S. M&S? I know, she's posh, she's going up in the world. But you can get them from Amazon, eBay. I just got them from M&S because I like to feel posh sometimes, all right? Right, item num... I couldn't count. <laughs> item number four is a corset. Now it's totally your choice if you want to get a corset. I recommend just getting one in a way. You don't have to wear it obviously but it's really good to have one and I've had this one for about three or four years now. I've only ever had two and this is from eBay or it might be from Amazon. Either or, get yourself a steel burned corset and make sure it's the right size for you. Mine goes just underneath the chest and it goes just above where the hip line is so it kind of forms the padding a bit better. Make sure you get it in your size as well because some corsets are weird sizes. They do recommend getting one in a lower size, something that can pull you in but I just get it in my waist size and just tuck it in a bit further. I don't want to punish myself. So yeah, get a corset and test it out and see what drag really feels like. Painful. So number five is a little breast insert or some form of breasts. Now if you're gonna wear padding, you've got to wear some kind of breasts or else the shape's gonna kind of be off. So I get a quite large breast insert. And these are just off Amazon off the brand Ivita. It is a silicone insert that you just put into a bra. And that leads us on to number six, which is a bra or undergarments, I should say, undergarments. If you get one of these, you can hold the inserts in place. You could even just use this and, I don't know, put socks in it or foam or just use this on its own. And you can use a breastplate if you want. Everyone knows that I've used breastplates in the past. I just don't use them at the moment because mine burst. <laughs> Number seven might seem like an obvious one, but you need an outfit. So you need to get yourself some clothes, something a little bit fabulous, something that suits your trend and aesthetic. I get a lot of my clothes from Primark or eBay, AliExpress, I love AliExpress for clothes, or even Sheen or Shein or however you say it. But I get a lot of my clothes from really, really cheap places because when you're doing drag, you've got to wear a lot of different outfits for a lot of different situations, you know, different performances, different looks. So get yourself a lot, a lot of cheap outfit so you can mix and match like I got this orange top and green trousers I'm gonna wear the green trousers with this look but I could put the orange top with it instead and it all matches and number eight is some jewelry and some accessories jewelry always amps up every single drag look you see a lot of drag queens with huge earrings and necklaces I just wear like one or two necklaces because I can't be bothered. But I have some earrings and I often actually wear some kind of accessory, if it's a belt or sunglasses. It's just an added detail to the look. So yeah, get yourself some accessories. I get a lot of mine from Amazon because it comes next day and I'm really fussy about delivery. <laughs> 
Uh, but you can go anywhere for accessories. Pretty much anything works. I was just about to do nine on one hand. <laughs> now number nine is a very important one, especially for me, is wigs. You've got to get yourself some wigs. Now a lot of people have asked me in the past, where do I get wigs and how do I do wigs? I don't really do that much to wigs. This is probably as much as I can do and it's not that cracking. But I get most of my wigs from the same place as I get everything else. I get my wigs from Amazon the most because they come on Prime. You can get wigs on Prime. Next day delivery on wigs. Oh, that fills me with joy. But yeah, I get a lot of wigs from Amazon, AliExpress. I get my other wigs from. That's pretty much the only places I get wigs from. Make sure you get a lace front. It is like £20 more than a hard front. So it's not that much more money, really. And it just looks a lot better. And you can wear it more. And it's better for performing in as well. Get yourself a little wig head whilst you're at it. These ones, I think, come in a pack of three or four or something for a fiver. But just get yourself a cheap wig head when you're starting. Because, you, you know, it's just to put the wig on. And also, whilst you're at it, get yourself some wig caps. I get them in in bulk because I do lose them even though I'm only in one room I lose these all the time so get yourself a load of wig caps you can tuck your hair back when you're putting the wig on so before we get to number 10 there is lots of things that I didn't include you know, special things like certain wig brushes and lashes and things like that those are things you can figure out later these are just the essentials so number 10 is makeup You've got to get yourself some makeup just treat yourself to whatever makeup you like and get yourself a really nice set of brushes as well treat yourself you can get brushes from anywhere and pretty much most brushes do work you've just got to know how to use them and if you want to know the top makeup products that i recommend watch the next video here